the latest log, which is Bromsey Town Football Club versus an East Cows Victoria side who are pushing for the playoffs. I'll be hoping not to bottom it. In Romsey High Street, it's called the Phoenix. <coughs> Great location, literally just off where the shops are, and also it's a ten, ten minute walk to the ground, and you'll be there. But it does Thatcher's Hayes on tap, which I'm very happy with. Matt's very happy because he's got his classy Fosters for the uh, you know the uh, low life people, you know, can't afford their fancy drinks. Um, also does Guinness and a nice selection of other beers as well. Um, but yeah, nice location, nice beer garden when the sun's out. Getting a nice little suntan here, not that I'm going to get any of my face wearing this all day. So yeah, nice, nice selection of food as well. And yeah, I'm going to have a nice pint now. Except Songwriter for the East Cows Vicks Ultras. I've got too much time on me hand. <laughs> and uh, can you read us, the, can you read just, us the Gold Diggers one, I'll please? The Gold Diggers. Well, I haven't got a song for uh, you, but what do you want to start with? Um, hang on, let's pick me favourite one. Just pick me favourite song. What's my favourite? I think my favourite's this one. This is LA, 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 the old Liverpool song. So the Vicks uh, were in boo. trouble. They were going down. They needed something special to turn things around. Then they found a saviour and Alex Smith came in. And all of a sudden, the Vicks started to win. LA, 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 you know the rest, all right? As I say, it's because of people like you guys. It's been a really good laugh. Um, I, you know, I played a bit of junior football. I used to watch the Vicks as a kid with my dad. And for me, just going back and watching them, it's just like going back to the old time, bit of nostalgia. But seriously, it's been brilliant this season. And as I yeah, say, I've, I've fallen back ride. in love with the game because the Premier League, all of that, it's just not real anymore, but this is. And that's the right. appeal, it's, it's, appeal in non-league football, you say? It's yeah. just, you know, having these conversations, having the conversations with the Romsey fans today, even Everyone's the, new, friendly, even the Newport Everyone's, fans. Yeah. So, as a Romsey Town, what is the appeal of Romsey Town to you? I think they answered that more. There you go, so, why non-league football? Why not oh, league it's football? It's amazing. No money involved. Just passion, playing for your town. And Romsey Town is your local club, yes? Yeah, yeah, I live just down the road. <laughs> and you come down there hoping to play for them in the future, or oh, is it just generally watching them? Um, yeah, it'll be lovely, you know, give it a few more years, but yeah, anything passionate, yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. A bit of a nervous Rex today for this one. Um, it's terrible. But here, <laughs> here we are then, Matthew. We're at uh, Lake Squad. It is Romsey versus East Cows Mix. 
Our main plan today was Portland, wasn't it? Yes. This is Brock with the big clash. Because we're going to do our fancy dress for the last sort of official league game. League yeah. game, but because of the weather, it's kind of ruined it. And also because of our good Southwestern Railway that have uh, delighted us once again with their train schedules. Yeah. But here we are. But just before we get into the customer today, Matthew. What do you call a dinosaur that's just had a curry? I've no idea. Ranasaurus Rex. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> boom, boom. That's basically part of the Oh, there we go. So today's clash is East Coast Victoria are chasing for that fifth spot, aren't they? Yeah. You? And it's getting pretty, pretty tasty, isn't it? With, sorry, dinosaur tasty. Um, <laughs> with Cove and Fleetlands, aren't they? So... In the mix, yeah. Um, I, I, I worked it out with three games to go for each team. Um, three Matt wins... wouldn't trust me because I'm an accountant after the Hammer uh, but yeah. I trust Matthew. After three, if we're talking about the three games played, of each team won those, all three of their games, um, 75 points would be East Cows Vic, 77 would be Fleetlands and 78 Cove, but Cove are playing Millbrook today and I think Fleetlands has still got to play Downton as well, I'm not 100% sure now, I'm correct. Excellent, so you know, it does make it interesting, East Cows will be looking for a win, they, they, by the way they've, they've taken about 50 supporters over today, so the atmosphere behind us is oh, absolutely brilliant cool. atmosphere isn't yeah, it, we've yeah. chatted to a few of the guys already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but Romsey Town has focused on them, the last four games they lost two, uh, Drew, lost 2-1 to Cove, won 4-2 against Ash, won 5-2 against Newport and joined two with New Milton. Their top scorer this season, Tiago Moreno, 17 goals. Uh, Josh Jeffries, 11 in 30, is the well, second top scorer. But an interesting signing coming in from Millbrook is Archie Greenoff. Um, he scored 8 in 13 for Petersfield this season. Petersfield got the top scorer in their promotion in last year. Um, he's got 6 in 10 for Millbrook. He's a Romsey now, so that's a bit of firepower up front for them. Uh, young Billy Brackley, Bain's debut at 17 this season. He's been absolutely outstanding for them at the back. And the skipper, Rowan Holloway. <laughs> skipper, Rowan Holloway. Um, <laughs> Does an amazing job in your field as well. Um, East Cows Vic fifth position. There, it's all it's kind of out of their hands and kind of in their hands at the same time. Um, it's got to keep winning those games. But the last four for them, they have lost two months to New Milton, lost three to Cove, lost three one at Hamilton with Breck before beating Tottenham in six nil. Gene Nash is still their top scorer, 21 in 37 games. Just uh, Conway. Just to say, fair play to Tottenham and Ealing because they literally bought nine players yeah. to the island on the week. Oh, yeah. Three of them were coaches, so <laughs> yeah. they could have easily sacked them off. Yeah. So. Fair, fair play to him. Got to get the games in, I suppose. Yeah. Um, Jez Conway, who scored the winning goal in the Ireland Derby, he's got six in 24. He'll be looking for something today. You know, he's a big game player. He's played for Cow Sports. He's a Western experienced player. And they'll be looking for players like him to step up today. It's going to be tough because, I mean, Romsey have had a relatively good season in the table. Yeah, they're, they're a hard team to beat. So it's yeah. not, it's not, the East Cow is going to have to play very well today to get the result they need. Yeah. What, what a sh I'm ready. <laughs> Good lad. <laughs> this, 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 this is her away kit. First time. Too late. Touch. Love them. Oh. We'll go between the dugouts, I think. They're lucky. Oh. Win more games than what we lose. Oh, we've got, if we don't get what, we're going to lose down and... Oh, they're better, certainly. No, you're not. They ain't... Oh, 
Nathaniel Corner at right back. Replacing the uh, Joel Ward at right back is Aaron Bissaka. He gets sold to Man United. He's replaced by Joel Ward at right back. Joel Ward gets injured. Who replaces him at right back? Nathaniel Corner. We've not actually paid any money for a right back since we signed Joel Ward. <laughs> Big HT is <laughs> Romsey nil, East Cowes Victoria 2. East Cowes come roaring out the blocks in the first <laughs> few minutes to snatch the 1 0 lead. They look pretty good value for it. Romsey have had a few good chances to be fair to get mm. back into the game. Yeah. But then you kind of, about the half an hour ish mark, wasn't it? I think the yeah. Romsey goalkeeper bottled it a little bit and then gift, gifted East Cowes a second. And um, yeah, they look very good value for their lead, don't they, Matthew? They do. I mean, they started really well. The goal came from about two minutes, and it was the centre back and captain Cam Chase cut it back across the box. Jake uh, Reynolds was there to make one nil to Jacob Reynolds, so he was there to make it one nil to East Cows Victoria. The second goal, like you said, I think I was a bit harsh on. I think on Barsham a little thing. I think he, he came out, he sort of slid for it. Uh, Joy Nash managed to get him in front of him and put a good finish into the net but like you said Romsey have had those chances Alex Rand pulled a brilliant save from Josh Gibson just before um, just before half time and also they have hit the post as well and very close from a header from a corner uh, which Ethan Madden got on the end of and just put it over the bar Romsey's still in this I think East Coast need one more goal to kill the game but they've looked very impressive so far Agreed. It's offside. Oh my God! Ref, put your flag up. Get it off. A shot. Yes, I need some. You're a goal. You're a brilliant goal. He's confident. <laughs> no, but that's the first bit. There's a door in the yellow card. Well, that's the yellow card. Please, let's go. Come on, now. Andy, not the performance you wanted today, but a spirit performance nonetheless. Yeah, no, of course. And, um, you know, obviously East Coast had a lot to play for, um, looking to try and cement the last playoff place. Um, a little bit different with ourselves. We've got a cup final coming up in 10 days' time against Basingstoke Town. So we did change our shape a little bit because we're using, obviously, today, Tuesday and next Saturday to try and look at a different shape and how we're going to try and, you know, counteract and play against um, Basingstoke, which will be, you know, another tough challenge in itself. You know, each case I've shown today, they're a very, very good side. Um, you know, one of the best sides maybe that we've, that we've played this season. Um, very well organised, disciplined, very physical as well. Um, you know, obviously... I think after I started the, the way we started at the start of the season, sorry, you know, obviously we'd like to be in similar sort of situation, but I've said it wrong, it is a rebuild for us, so it's a chance for us to look at some players, and like I say, the main thing for us now is um, making sure we go into the, the play, um, sorry, the final um, in, in 10 days' time in, in, in a good shape, and, um, you know, hopefully we can maybe cause an upset. You said about it's a sort of rebuild this season, um, but it does bode well for next season. So I think you've got the foundations to progress that little bit further. Yeah, no, of course. And you know, when I came back, um, I said this season, you know, it is a rebuild. Um, 
you know, top nine finish uh, would be nice. I, th I think we should do that, get the cup final as well as obviously, you know, fantastic for the second year running. Um, but it is a rebuild. We're not a million miles away, um, bar the Downton game this season and uh, I think a 3-0 loss to Hamrek here. We've been in every single game we've played in, you know, we've lost by the odd goal and it is individual mistakes today. You know, the first two goals, we, we can't allow a good side like East Coast that. Um, but then on the flip side of it, actually they didn't really work miles in goal anymore where we had three clear-cut chances we didn't take him. So maybe it's a different story, but we know where we've got to work on and where we've got to improve and bring in extra quality to hopefully that maybe next season we can be involved in the playoff show and uh, hopefully get promoted. And finally, how good were the fans today? It was lovely to see a bit of noise. <laughs> yeah, I, I no. had a quick interview with them as well. Couldn't yeah. hear them. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fantastic. Obviously, it, this was supposed to be the last game of the season, so East Coast obviously halfway through put on a special coach and everything to bring them over but uh, the boys behind the goal they, they go to the school that, where I work at and um, I think there was a good number of them so they critique me every uh, <laughs> every Monday when, when, when we come in but they just want to watch a good game of football and they you know the lads love it and it is brilliant and that's what we want at, you know non-league football to create that sort of atmosphere so yeah so hats off to them and uh, a massive thank you from me and uh, obviously all, all the boys for the support they've given us that's brilliant thank you very much for your time Andy no worries. Alex Tudor with us today happy with that performance uh, yeah, it's, it's obviously a great performance, a big, big result on a big day when there's a lot of people here and a lot of noise, and, and to turn up with a, a good performance on a day like that is obviously, obviously pleasing. And to go down to ten, to ride it out with players playing in all sorts of positions across the pitch is um, a really good bounce back from what's been a difficult few games for us. And, and like definitely the mindset is like really, really pleasing. But obviously the game's just completely ruined and a bit of taste because on, Ketchen's no, been sent go. off yeah. he's now going to pick up suspension at the most crucial time of the season there's never a red card in a million years of course it's a foul he's been sent off being last man when there's I don't know if he's got cameras, but there's two, three men around the ball. <laughs> One of them's actually received the ball after the foul yeah. and you've got a young man in there who's a the captain of the football club. He's done nothing wrong and he's now going to miss the biggest part of the season because of referee's mistake, which is which is pretty infuriating to be honest with you. Um, Gene Nash got your second Jai Nash got your second goal today. He's been for a bit of a lean spill, happy happy for him to get yeah, the goal today. Yeah, yeah, I think the thing is with Jai, like when he's playing well, he'll always score goals. And I think the thing is for Jai is just finding that level as often as possible. And today, he came out with, with fire in his belly and grafted and, and, and he's always gonna score goals. And his attitude today was terrific, to be fair. And you brought a coach load of fans down today, very good noise. How, how much you know, inspiration is that for the players once on the yeah, pitch? Yeah, no, it's amazing. Like the, the way we've been able to sort of galvanise like the community, I think, through through performances, through not through ability, but through grit and hard work, which I think is what they respect the most, to get big big turnouts out at home and and now away is yeah, it's amazing, it's amazing. That's brilliant. Congratulations, thank you, thank you, mate. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Nice one. Hey. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, I think I think it's a great win. I think it's a disgrace Cal getting sent off at the end. Yeah, definitely. I think there was plenty of defenders covering Cal's Cal's challenge. Yeah. I think it's a yellow all day long. The atmosphere today was superb. I think it's just what Vicks needed today to get get that playoff push. And it was a good win as well because it keeps you in that playoff place. And Cove lost today as well. Exactly. It's, it's amazing. It is super. It is, it super is a very result. nice feeling, but we also have our centre bag out for at least two games. And if you get bored of the first team, make sure to tune in to the development side. Sure. So I'll be hoping to see you lads play in a couple of years. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We're still developing at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we can see that. <laughs> Time was Ronzi Town nil, East Cows Victoria 2. Probably do a good job to get some vloggy out of that second half. It wasn't the best second half, but East Cows did the job in the first half, didn't they? Yeah, so I think when you're pushing for that promotion, sometimes it's not about winning pretty. It's not about winning by six, seven goals. It's about getting the results when you need to get the results. And how close they are of Cove and Fleetlands, it's, they've got to keep winning those games. And they showed two sides of their performance today. I think first off, very attacking. Um, when they went down to 10 men, they had to grind in a bit like Moneyfields did last week, and they, they, they dug in and held out. Yeah, and a bit of questionable decisions by the referee second half, especially if sending off the uh, yeah. physio and then having to call him back on when the player went down injured. That was quite, that was probably the highlight of the second <laughs> half, wasn't it? Yeah, um, <laughs> I don't, it doesn't be too critical of the camera of referees, but I think he, he wasn't the best referee in performance today. The sending off was it the sending off? Yes, no. That's a... mm, he did pull his shirt, but I thought there was plenty of people around to salvage that situation. But Gordon doesn't agree. But you know, 
We all have our own opinions. No fair, it's called Gordon's on camera. So Sorry, let's, let's, let's get some camera, you can't have an opinion. Distracted by a kid <laughs> while running around with a plastic bag. <laughs> right um, but I, I, I think East Cash, particularly, I mean, Gene Ash, first half, was very good. He got his goal. He's been through a bit of a lean spell, so it was good for him to get his 27 of the season. Um, they scored early on, Jacob Reynolds, 17 for the season from midfield. And it's maybe not in their hands so much, but Cove losing today, um, they've got a bit more control over the situation now. Yeah, yeah, no, and can't fault their fans today, can you? Oh, Another, fan, fans well, are great brilliant. atmosphere today, yeah. and even the Romsey yeah. ultras, what? would you call them? Yeah, the kids. The goal, yeah. They've, it's been a really good atmosphere for this level of football to come, come and see an atmosphere like this. It really but the, I think the noise, it's nice to see young kids from Romsey coming down to actually watch Romsey Town, the local club. I sort of said to them, why do you come in or Southampton? Well, to go Stephens wanted to pay full five quid. Exactly, and they could have gone all the way to Cardiff today and seen them lose in the last minute, but hey ho. And finally, just uh, congratulations. Sorry, Gordon, he's a Saints fan. Uh, congratulations to Baffins today, who secured the fifth Last spot way, yeah. in the uh, Wessex Prem. And commiserations to Brock, it's been a great season and for Portland. them. And Portland as well, but I think, yeah, I think Brock would be ruining a few missed opportunities in the last few games. But there's always next season, and we will be there. Seriously, you are real football fans, and thank you so very much. You brought back my love of football. Thank Cheers, you. thank you. Oh, awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. That's our outro. Sorry. <laughs>